Can supplementing with probiotics help protect you from cardiovascular disease? Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and a recent study suggests the answer to this question is yes. I'll put the study abstract here up on the screen. And essentially what this study did was for eight weeks, daily supplementation with Saccharomyces boulardii, a probiotic, was shown to lower remnant lipoprotein by 15%. Remnant lipoprotein is a predictive biomarker and potential target in the treatment and prevention of cardiovascular disease, according to this study. So again, this study gave a group of patients Saccharomyces boulardii, which is a healthy probiotic fungus, and over the course of eight weeks, they saw a 15% reduction in this cholesterol. Remnant lipoprotein is, is a precursor to um, LDL cholesterol and total cholesterol, and so it's in the family of cholesterols, and it's a predictive marker for uh, heart disease risk. So these findings are very interesting. And when we look at other findings, looking at other probiotics and other similar studies, we see numerous studies show that probiotics can have a favorable impact on cholesterol levels. We've also recently discussed how some probiotics can actually lower homocysteine. And this may happen via the probiotics uh, enhancing bacteria levels in the gut, those bacteria producing B vitamins, uh, B vitamins naturally, these B vitamins then lower homocysteine, which is another uh, risk factor for heart disease. So overall, probiotics show a lot of promise for being able to prevent and hopefully decrease cardiovascular disease and, and cardiovascular occurrences. We don't really have great data that proves that yet. We don't really have great data showing that if you um, if we take two groups of people, one group take a probiotic for the next five years, the other group do not, the group taking the probiotic has a lower incidence of cardiovascular disease or episodes. To my knowledge, we don't have that data yet, but we have this preliminary data that is showing that probiotics favorably impact some of the markers in the body that denote future risk for a cardiovascular episode. So very promising. I'm hoping as future research is done, we'll see more of, uh, of the clinical science substantiating the fact that probiotics can in fact help lower risk. Right now it can improve some of the markers associated with elevated cardiovascular risk and I think that's a very encouraging finding especially when we consider that probiotics are very benign substances uh, and we're fairly deficient in exposure to healthy bacteria in many westernized uh, areas so certainly it's very plausible that probiotics make sense to um, help get back some of this missing bacterial exposure both environmentally and from a lack of eating things like fermented foods. Also the positive impact we see from probiotic supplementations on gastrointestinal health you know, further increases the favorability of using a probiotic as a general preventative health measure. So again, this study showed that Saccharomyces boulardii, a healthy probiotic fungus, decreased remnant lipoprotein, which is a, in the family of cholesterol and a predictive marker for heart disease, decreased that marker by 15%. So if you're someone who has a family history of heart disease or you're simply trying to prevent heart disease, then supplementing with probiotics seems to be a reasonable approach or a reasonable recommendation. This is Dr. Ruscio. I hope this information helps you get healthy and get back to your life. Thanks.